So many animals, plants, and even some fungi can trick and deceive each other for their own advantage. And we're often amazed by examples of deception from far-flung places, but in fact, we only have to look in our own gardens and our parks for examples of deception much closer to home. And trickery is often used to gain protection from predators. So for example, the caterpillars of many moths and butterflies take on the green and the brown appearance of the vegetation on which they live. And the adults rely on camouflage too. The lappet moth, for example, looks just like a dead leaf. So if a predator does detect it, it doesn't even realise that it's anything worth investigating. The peacock butterfly, on the other hand, uses bluff and surprise instead of camouflage. When a predator, like a small bird, comes close, it flashes open its bright wings, revealing a pair of colourful eye spots. And this causes the small bird to be startled or scared, allowing the peacock butterfly to escape. It's not entirely known why the eye spots actually work, but one probable reason is that they mimic the eyes of a larger predator, like a bird of prey. And in doing so, the small bird thinks that it's then going to become a meal itself. Hoverflies are also extremely common in the garden. They have black and yellow stripes which mimic the appearance of bees and wasps, even though they're completely harmless. They have no sting, no nasty bite, and in fact, they would really make probably quite a good meal for many predators. Deception is also used in a much more aggressive way by many animals as well. So we're often familiar with the common cuckoo, which lays its eggs in the nests of another species of bird, so that those hosts or those foster parents rear the chick instead. But cuckoo bees are in fact even more common in the garden. These little bees lurk around the nests of solitary individuals, solitary species, so that while the solitary bee is away collecting pollen to provision its developing young, the cuckoo bee sneaks inside the nest and lays an egg of her own. And if that egg survives and isn't detected by the host, it will later hatch and consume all the pollen stores for itself. So the next time you're in the garden, keep an eye out for some of the many examples of deception and deceit right underneath our noses.